Hey guys, I hope you're doing well, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the undeserved hate that the Flash movie is getting, and why the movie actually works, in my opinion anyways. I'll talk about the negative and positive aspects of the movie. So let's begin. The number one criticism the movie is receiving is having bad CGI. In most scenes, it is clearly visible and it looks like a PS3 game. I genuinely like the design of the new suit, uh, in some scenes it can be clearly seen as CGI and looks out of place. And in other scenes, where there is no proper lighting, the suit actually looks good. In terms of Barry and alternative Barry being in the same scene, you can actually see which Barry is real and which one is CGI, only if you focus hard enough. When Barry is trying to enter different timelines, Superman, Batman and even Suicide Squad members kind of look goofy and cartoonish. Even though the director said it was intentional, I can still see why fans were thrown off. Fans were also upset that they used Jake Eric instead of Grant Gustin's Flash, when it had already been established that the two Flashes have already met. I do believe Ezra Miller's Flash learns his name, which is the Flash, through Grant Gustin's Flash so he did have an impact on him eventually. The Nicolas Cage scene was widely criticized, but I genuinely liked it. It gave us a glimpse of what Tim Burton's Superman would have been, except it wouldn't look as good as it did in the 90s. I still kinda want to see the movie, but as a standalone and not connected to any universe. Prior to the release of the Flash movie, Ezra Miller was involved in many controversies, he was charged with assault, robbery, and attacking fans. His only public appearance would be the premiere of his movie, so naturally, some fans did not want to support him. Now let's talk about the positives of this movie. Firstly, starting off with the many Batmans we got. Ben Affleck's Batman seemed to be acting like the same Batman we got in Batman v Superman. His gadgets were awesome, he was tactical and he was for force that is not to be reckoned with. And I also like that Batman's voice is not digital since Ben Affleck's voice is much much scarier. I kind of wish we got a solo Ben Affleck Batman movie. He shines in most of the scenes he's in. The only gripe I have with this Batman is that he killed in Batman v Superman. At least if Batman killed there has to be a reasoning or justification. Now let's talk about the inclusion of Michael Keaton's Batman. This Batman served a purpose for the story. His role was to help Barry find Supergirl and fight off General Zod at the end of the movie. Michael Keaton's Batman was old and weathered, but he is still the greatest detective, still capable of fighting goons that outnumber him and can get out of deathly situations. Michael Keaton's Batman was simply a badass and still capable of putting up on a fight. I kind of wish we got to see what other adventures he has been up to throughout the years. I simply like the plot and the characters that have been utilized. They have made minor changes to the source material which is Flashpoint Paradox, but the core ideas are still there and have been executed well, where Barry changes the timeline just to save his mother, and Michael Keaton's Batman would resonate more with the audience than using Thomas Wayne as Batman, which was similar to the source material. The scenes on which Barry gets his powers were practically identical. Although I would have much preferred Henry Cavill to show up and to be the Superman that was locked up, Supergirl was a good addition and served her purpose for the movie. In terms of villains, I was on board with Barry being the villain more than having Reverse Flash. It made sense and had a deeper meaning that the ultimate villain was the creation of Barry. I'm pretty sure that there were plans to include Reverse Flash, but James Gunn is rebooting the franchise, so I don't know if we will ever get to see that. 